Hello everyone, you just interrupted my intro. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And I do need to go to sleep before any of the nasties spawn. But what I do want to do today is um, building a little bit on my village, collecting a little bit more resources. Can you please stop find the end? But uh, that's going to take a while. I'm going to have to travel a long distance and I'm not excited for that. But in the meantime, I need to get all my spruce logs and start to hatch uh, out more of my building plan for this entire village. Actually, I just forgot to actually tell you guys, I did do a little bit of enchanting, which I do still need to do a little bit more enchanting. Look at that beauty. But I did add, like, so a few more enchants to my gear. I kind of just chose the basic one, it said protection, and it gave me three more enchants. Well, three in total, but it gave me more enchants than I needed. And the helmet's cool. I have no clue what Adept does. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyways, time to get onto the topic of today's video, and that is to open the door. And well, what does it mean to open the door? Well, Jesus calls everyone, and when I mean everyone, I mean absolutely everybody. He doesn't just say, hey, to one person. No, he says, hey, to everyone. But only few people listen, and that's the truth. Only few will actually follow the narrow path that leads to unyielding life, everlasting life. And why? Why don't people want to feel this absolute joy, this absolute forever? That's something that I'll never understand, but people who have not experienced something absolutely horrendous in their life honestly won't understand why people follow Jesus Christ. And it's honestly just the truth. Only those who have actually had something horrible happen to them follow Jesus. And some people are blessed enough to have had nothing bad happen to them. But in all reality, we all experience pain and suffering. Doesn't matter who it is, doesn't matter how it happens, we all do. Well, isn't that just nice? But everyone is honestly so naive and ignorant. It's kind of bewildering because I lived an absolute horrendous life. And I follow Christ because of the fact that I know at least he is always going to be there for me when the entire world will forsake me. And that's what I find most joy in is always calling upon him, always focusing everything that I have upon him. Why should you do this? Why should you open up the door to everlasting life? Well, because of how much joy it will actually bring you. How much peace. How much clarity. How much love. Everything will bring you. And I lived an absolute horrendous life. That's why I know Jesus is always going to be there for me. Is because he saw it all. He is God all-knowing, all-powerful God. And I don't want to say that I lived a horrendous life just to get attention or to get pity from people. It's just the truth. I was bullied throughout, throughout my life just for wanting to make friends and just because my interests were different from others. I liked the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's when I was growing up, but other people, not so much. And was I, like, shoving it down their throats? No. I'm like, oh, I like this. Other kids called me weird. I say I like another thing. Oh, hey, look, I like trains. Some other people don't like trains. Well, why bully me for my interests? That doesn't make sense. Why is everybody's opinion so focused on what they want, what they like? That doesn't make any sense. Are you that selfish? Okay. Well, if you're that selfish, you don't need God because all you care about, all you think about is yourself. All I wanted to do was be friends with other people, but people made fun of me for it. So then, after I became pretty reserved, people started making fun of for how I looked. Why does- why should- why should I be on other people's minds? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why do I have to be on your mind when the only person that should be on all of our minds is God? 
Why do you care so much about how I look rather than how you look? Why do you care so much about my physical appearance when you have your own physical appearance? Appearance? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why do you focus so much upon others? And even teachers did the exact same things as students would. The staff at the school would do the exact same thing. They would all pick on me for... I don't even know. <laughs> and I know the times that I was naughty, but was I naughty every single time of my every single living second of my life? No. All I wanted to do was bring smiles to other people's faces, but apparently people don't like that. Do I know why? No. Does God know why? Yes. And am I going to speak on God's behalf because I know exactly what he wants? No. Okay, well, I guess I can't sleep yet. But I only know what God tells me to do. And if he tells me to share my life experiences and to say, Hey, look, look at how much of a horrible life you lived and your childhood was stolen from you. But that does not matter because I will give you an everlasting life of eternal paradise for all and ever and ever. Does that not just sound lovely? Does, do people look at that and not say, Wow, God has rules that we must follow. No, no, it's not like that at all. We have rules to follow because otherwise we'll start hurting one another. The Ten Commandments are literally for our own good. Thou shalt not steal because if you steal, then you're going to be held accountable for your actions. Thou shalt not make, commit adultery because obviously if you commit adultery, you're getting into a bed with another woman that is married okay this is one elongated house it looks kind of weird doesn't matter though i'm probably gonna have to place slabs as the floor and then like have it go up maybe don't entirely know how i'm gonna do all of this yet Ooh, but i do need to get rid of this and jesus will give you everything that you ever need in this life but the only thing that you need to do is actually read the bible because I read the Bible, but it's hard for me to read the Bible. So I listen to the Bible. I have this cool little, oh, it's getting nighttime. I have this cool little free app called The Bible. And all you got to do is download it, and then you can read it. And then you could also listen to an audio version of it. You know how easy that is? All you got to do is open up your phone, click an app, and then click play on the little microcomputer in your hand. And all you got to do is click it. It's pretty cool. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, write, These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, so that you can become rich, and white clothes to wear, so that you can cover up your shameful nakedness, and salve to put on your eyes, so that you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Honestly, why do people not want God? I honestly don't care about anything anymore. I used to be so focused upon family, my future marriage, although I don't even have a spouse, focused on my finances, who I'm going to be friends with, but my even my status, how many subscribers I'm actually going to have. But it's all worthless. There's only one beautiful thing in this entire corrupted world, and that's Jesus. And like I said, the only person that will ever be there for you 24-7 is Jesus Christ. How do I know this? Because of everything I've experienced in life. 
Do you know how much pain it brought me to be bullied every single day just because I was a little bit different from everybody else? I wasn't, like, skinning animals or, like, playing with dead rodents on the side of the road. No, I just wanted everybody to be friends. I just wanted everybody to be smiling. Like, all I wanted was happiness and joy for everybody. And everybody saw that as weird. How is that weird? How? And although I was bullied for it and cried a whole lot as a kid, Jesus was there. And that brings me so much peace knowing that he was there. Because even if they don't repent, they're going to be served a whole lot of justice for every single thing that they did in this life. And that's the only thing that we got to do is repent from the nasty, disgusting ways that we all do every single day and to trust in him, to trust in the one who has seen every single pain, every single tear, everything that we've ever gone through and wants to comfort us, to wants to be there for us. And all you got to do, the one thing, is open that door. Okay, I am finished with all of this. I have added two new homes to this beautiful landscape that I'm going to have to terraform everything. And that is going to be very, very annoying. Anyways, let me mine all these beauties so that I'm able to start making more books for my beautiful armor set. Uh, well, I can't place anything just yet. Because I would have to make an actual farm. I guess this little area will be my farm. This entire little area. But truthfully, all you got to do is read the four Gospels of Jesus Christ. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because in those four is every single thing that Jesus told us. Everything. And there is Revelations, chapter 2 through 3 specifically, where he points out every single one of our absolute disgusting sins how we persecute others, how we lust after others, and he knows all of our hearts. But truthfully, I am going to be so glad to be comforted by Jesus. Why? Because I am saved by him. And you can't have faith in Jesus if you don't even want to believe in him. I don't care about anything, because the only thing that will ever matter is Jesus. And I want everybody else to know what it is to know Jesus. Because all your anxieties, all your emotions, all your pains, out the window, gone. Because you're going to soon realize that none of it matters. You don't have to focus solely upon everything of this world, but to focus on something better, something greater, something perfect. But I do hope everybody was able to enjoy today's video. It is pretty lackluster because all I did was talk to these people open that door come outside place some things not very enticing i do admit but i do want to do more building it is going to be hard because i am very very tired it is currently two o'clock in the afternoon but i guess i have like this weird thing with my body where it just gets really really depressed whenever school like school time is around like i guess the area between when school starts so like august to december my body just does not want to cooperate with anything that i do no matter how hard i force it to that's why i rely on god because he's the one that actually gets me through everything thank you all so much for watching today's video and i do hope everybody was comfortable and able to enjoy it i love you all god bless all of you and until the next one see ya